lovely peoples. <laughs> now, I just wanted to start here, which is pretty much where we always start, uh, and just uh, answer a question that I got asked. Well, it's not been asked once, it's been asked a couple of times. Um, why don't I pour my lie in on camera? And the reason I don't pour my lie in on camera is because you people would probably freak the hell out because I pour my lie from this. I don't use a little jug, I pour it from this. I can get within two grams using this. But if you watched me do it, you'd probably freak the hell out, especially because usually it's like full up to about here. So that is why I do not pour my light on camera. And I just don't see the point in pouring it out of that into a little jug so that I can pour it on camera because if <laughs> it's pouring light into a container, it, it's, it's pretty boring. <laughs> so I don't do it. There you go. So that's the answer to your question. All right. So as you can see, we have lots of blue. So I guess today is the blue soap, which is probably in the title. I'm pretty sure it will say monochromatic blue. My plan is in in acrylic pour terms, we have what's called a dirty pour, which is you put all your colours into one container and you pour them out. In soap terms, it's called a faux funnel. Um, a funnel pour. I'm not entirely sure if it's exactly the same thing, but I'm going to do what I generally do with acrylic paint because it's just it's just easier to think in my brain <laughs> think in my brain in my brain there is not a lot of thinking going on <laughs> so no, I hate these freaking container things I hate these bags and my why are my hands so greasy what's going on there I got no paper towel ripped up oh okay I don't know if you can see can you see my hair can you see my hair I don't know if you can see my hair. Hello. <laughs> I got shit with it the other day and I dyed it red. So now instead of looking like a little old Chinese lady, now I look like Ronald McDonald's old nana. <sighs> or Crusty the Crown's clown's old nana. Or maybe even Buddy. Uh, what's his face? Oh my god. Pennywise. I now look like Pennywise's mum. <laughs> Which, you know, I mean, it's not horrible because I love Pennywise, so he's my favourite villain. Oh. Alright, well, I'm going to get this mixed up. I've put the blue in here already because I want all these blues to be different than that blue. So if it's on a blue base, then every time one of these gets added to it, it will be different. Alright. How's that for a colour morph? <laughs> now the colour of my spatula and my spatula is green. <laughs> friggin' blue, mate. Ah, oh, friggin' blue. Every time. Let's make sure I got all the little corners happening. Yay! And then lumpy bumpies in here. Alright, so I have got. Catalina Blue, Cerulean Frost, Sapphire Sea and Chambray. Sapphire Sea is the synthetic so it may possibly be a little um, sparkly. Okay, so I'm just going to pour off into these four and we just... No, I have to do it. I was like, I kept thinking why we clean up so much as we soap and I'm like, the next time I soap, I'm just not going to do it and I can't help it. <laughs> if you'd seen my house, have the state it's in at the moment. So I'm moving furniture around for waiting for these two friggin' printers. Tell you what, if they don't hurry up, I'm going to get really cranky. So the problem is, I have a whole bunch of other pro programs. No, a whole other bunch of programs. Let's start that sentence again. A whole other bunch of products I want to release. I can't release these products until I can make some up and get them out to some testers so they can test them. And I can't print them because I have so many orders, <laughs> which I'm not complaining. 
but I just have so many orders I just like I don't have time to print anything so that's why I need these other two bloody printers to move their asses from Canada apparently they're in transit so I don't know what that means you're on a plane somewhere but really how long does it take for you to get from Canada to Australia it's just annoying when I said when I said see I'm stupid because when it said 15 to 22 days I was like okay I actually believed that but mm -hmm. yeah well I shouldn't have believed that <laughs> I should not have believed that now we have to test this fragrance because shite I haven't cleaned that the other one did oh. all right that's clean that's not so put this in this is how I generally clean my fragrance containers I just shove a paper towel in them and then just leave it there until I use it next and it sucks up all the fragrance we're using something what the hell are we using shit oh seaside spa from candle supply it was about the bluest smelling fragrance I had so uh, it has no vanillin and it says a pampering fragrance with fresh top notes and soft floral nuances of pink orchid so at least I said orchid and not orchard there's that um, let me just sit you over there to make a mess let's just <sighs> It's always scary, isn't it? Yes, I saw that soap flying everywhere. Did you guys? <laughs> I certainly did. It's... Looks like it's alright. Okay, well, we'll go with it. One, two, three, four, wait. Back in there, go over there. Hopefully, it won't go too thick. And what I would like, what, what I'm gonna try and do is do this in two lots. I don't know if it will work or not, it depends on how thick this gets. But we'll see what happens. So Says flurg, yeah, there's a big ricey freaking rice ball there. Flipping shit. Well, and it's also going thick as a mofo, so yeah, right. Oh my god, that's so ricey. F fuck you. <laughs> fragrance, fuck you. <laughs> there's some light, not some just some light fragrance, uh, not light swearing going on in this one. Mother Tucker. God damn it. Right. We're not doing a dirty pour. We won't be able to do a dirty pour. It's that simple. bubbles holy shit I don't know this is still holy shit now the rising's actually not coming out at all so what I'm gonna do this could possibly just be a fragrance that can't be used for soap so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dump it all in here and we'll just do a quick in the pot swirl. 
because this is not looking good at all. There's still a lot of rice in that. So. And it's hot as, like hot as. Well, this is why we get these bottles of fragrance to test them to see, but I'm going to probably call this one as not to be trifled with. If it's... If if it just set up quicker to be alright, but that rising is mental. I don't know, you probably can't see much of it on camera. It's kind of hard to see. But that's the most rising I've had in a, in a soap ever. That didn't mix out. So, I don't know if you can see. Can you see how lumpy it is in there? I see this big lump right here. Can you see that? It's bad. So. Oh. Oh my god, that's heavy. You can see how much it's said. Look at the lumps in there. Like. That's bad. You watch. This is going to look really pretty. <laughs> it'll piss me off. Because it'll look really pretty. Ah, oh, well, never mind. Like, I don't... See, this is a thing. Like, ricey soap, as far as I know... Now, I'm not an expert, so... Well, I think I know a fair bit about soap, but I am not a scientist. Let's put it that way. So, <coughs> as I understand it, ricing is when the fragrance reacts with the soap batter and doesn't disperse. So, a riced soap means there are little concentrated balls of fragrance in your soap. So, my guess is that's not safe to use, right? Because, holy shit, that was a ball and a half. Because, <clears throat> I can't talk now. Because these things are only skin safe. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It just happens sometimes. All the freaking time. Um, because, yeah, because this stuff is only skin safe to a certain extent. Let me go bash. Some weird noise is going on that side. Thank God I'm not as paranoid as my dad. Or Curtis. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure dad's a paranoid schizophrenic, honestly. He's just... Yeah. Anyway, we will not talk about my crazy family because <laughs> I don't want to talk about my crazy family right now. No, not that they've done anything, just yeah. family, mate. <clears throat> can't live with them, can't shoot them. <laughs> well, I suppose you can. I just don't want to go to jail. Although, then I wouldn't have to do my washing, so that would be good. Anyway, I'm stopping. Uh, yeah, you can definitely see, focus, focus, can you see all the little lumps, the tiny little, little they look like, they look like rice, that's why it's called ricing, but yeah, so I think, I think that a soap, a riced soap is probably unsafe, because it has concentrated balls of fragrance in it, but I don't know, I mean, it's just one of those things, I don't know, someone would know, um, someone who knows sciencey stuff, I would guess, but um, I don't know the percentage of fragrance you can have, like the body safe percentage. So I think that would make a difference. Um, we should do something to the top, just in case. Just in case it's what not ricey when you cut it. <laughs> so it's going to automatically unrice itself in the middle of the night, like some sort of mystical creature. Because <laughs> you know, mystical creatures often unrice themselves. No, I'm shaking my head, I don't know what I'm talking about either. So, it's also got it already looks like it's got fragrance leakage already. Now, that also is something I have never ever seen before. So, 
like, let me see if I can I'll bring you up. You can see. See on this end here? Come on, focus your stupid slut of the thing. See on this corner here? It looks like fragrance leakage already. I don't know if it is or if I'm just imagining things. I don't think I am though. Now, it's not that the fragrance isn't mixed in because I did stick blend it. But oh my god, the rising in there is just absolutely incredible. That's just, oh my god, that's so intense. It's camping soap, it's intense. <laughs> oh, not funny. I have soap batter on my arm. I can feel it. It's a make on my itchy. It's a make on my itchy. Yeah, every time I pull this up, I can see like little balls of rice. It's so bad. I stop playing with it because that's it. I'm going to go and change this printer because it's probably done by now. I had an hour to go when I come out. So, so yeah, there you go. That's um, that's what I think is, a, is an actual failed soap. But I'm going to go and have a little hunt around on the internet and see if I can't find... An answer to that because I mean we say fragrance rice but then we never really talk about how, whether it's safe or you know it's just yeah interesting so but I'd be definitely surprised if this doesn't leak uh, anyway we shall put some glitter on it we may have to well I guess I don't have to redo this blue soap I mean I made a blue soap for monochromatic month but um, whether or not it actually becomes for sale is a whole different kettle of fish. I wonder where did that saying come from? Why is something a different kettle of fish? Like, I mean, I understand what a kettle of fish is, but I just don't know why it is the same. So, someone please tell me. All right. Oh. That's the other thing I was going to tell you guys. <laughs> you, I've, I'll upload a video, right? And then I'll release it a week later. And then you guys comment about things I've said in it. And I seriously, I'm really, really sorry. But I don't remember what the bloody hell I said in any video. I took a lot in these things. <laughs> ah, freaking hell. That was the other thing I was going to do. I'm going to put this in there. God damn it. Doesn't matter does not matter <sighs> Dear. But yeah sometimes I'm like what what did I say and yeah and I'm not sitting there watching my videos over just to remember what I said so <laughs> if I don't answer if you comment on something specific and I don't answer you in a way that sounds like I know what you're talking about it's probably because I don't <laughs> so I apologize so if you want me to reply to you about something I said in my video you have to be a little bit more specific about what I said in the video and then I will reply it would also be really nice if people who are asking questions would actually use their manners before they ask me questions I feel I'm not from now on if you don't use your manners when you want information from me I'm not answering you just feel like that's just a little bit of common decency and there should be more of it so use your manners please and thank you it's always nice I mean I'm not here doing this as a favor to you I'm doing this because I want to that you watch is a favor to me but I don't have to just answer your questions if you can't at least have a bit of common decency so so there you go there was a high horse in this video I found it I shall climb down now and take a photo of this and it's not an unattractive soap, I just think it might be a failed soap. <laughs> Alright, my friends, I'll see you shortly for the cutting and we'll see how badly or well you watch. Like I said, this will be a beautiful soap, but full of rice balls. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> bye. This one has, surprisingly, because I've had this is something that doesn't happen very often with me, uh, if the camera will focus, it's got quite a bit of soda ash on it. So. I'm not seeing the 
colours look really nice. Now I said this would happen, didn't I? And it looks like all the all the blues have come back. This look really good. Um, it's it's really hard. It's really set up. So um, yeah, I don't know what is going to happen with this um, with the rising. So I don't know. It looks good though. <laughs> I do like it, I've got to say. <laughs> Obviously I like swirly soaps. But there's not sort of... Eh, no, it just looks like soap. It doesn't look... There's no chunks. I mean, there's some holes, but I always get holes because I have a habit of putting uh, bubbles in my mix because I am stupid. <laughs> No, because I don't care, honestly. I just use the stick blender and if I get some bubbles in it, I don't worry about it. But, um, all the blues are quite nice. Did we use... We did... Oh, that's a that baby blue. That up the top is that baby blue. It's actually not bad, is it? I've got to say. It's not, um, it's a little green. It may come back yet. Um, but yeah, it's got... A kind of texture to it whereas I don't know if the camera will pick it up this one's really smooth and this one actually has a tech like you can run your finger over it and feel the texture so I don't know whether that's got anything to do with the rising or not but it, like you can see it looks like it look, kind of looks like skin you know how skin sort of has like a a rough texture to it it's weird it's really weird but um I'm not seeing any like, there's no balls of fragrance in there, like from the rising or anything, so I don't know, it's kind of weird. Now I've never, like I said, I've never had a fragrance rice on me to this extent before. Oh, hang on, hang on. I found one. Not in that one. But in here, I don't know if we can get in close enough. Let's see if we can get it to focus. There we go. Up at the top. Oh, where is it? Shit. Here. Right there. You see that? It looks like a ball of rice. So now, is that a little rice ball <laughs> or not? I think it might be. But why is it the only one I've seen? It's kind of weird. Like, and this was super ricey. Not seeing any in there either, so it's very weird. Soap is weird. Soap is just stupidly weird. Hmm. But yes, it's interesting that it has um that it has ashed on the top. Oh, so no, there's another one in the end piece. You might might not be able to see it in that one, but you can definitely see it in this one. So just here. It's it's a different colour than the soap bits. Yeah, so you can see that. So that's definitely a little like a little rice ball. That might even no. Oh, I don't think that is. I think that's just a swirl. So yeah. What about that one? Then uh, so I'm still gonna put this in the light. Can it, you can clear, you can actually see the texture. See the texture that it has? It's kind of weird, isn't it? So, it's almost like an orange or something. Yeah, it has, it's just kind of lumpy. Let's so we'll tip that up. I'm trying to get some light on it so you can see. But yeah, so anyway. Oh yeah, here we go. Look in the corner up here. Focus up here. See, there's definitely a couple of little. I don't know what's. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, that's a very ricey soap, and I will not use that fragrance again for soap. So, it's not very exciting anyway. No, it's barely there. Yes, yeah, compared to the other one, barely there. So, now yeah, I'll just smack myself on the nose with that. <laughs> Definitely barely there, so it's another one that just pff, has no has no smell. 
Um, that one's from Candle Supply, isn't it? Uh, yeah, Candle Supply, Seaside Spa. So, focus. <laughs> oh, that's a really good shot. Look at that. Look how focusy that is. But yeah, so I definitely won't use that one again. I bought a lot of that one too. Oh, well, never mind. All right, I'll see you for the next one. Bye.